for this one man this may be I don't know how it's gonna turn out <laughs> bring them on camera I don't know what that means underneath your name Lola it says bring them on camera does that mean for you to be on the camera hi Lola hi Sandy yeah I'm not sure what that means on yours Lola it says bring them on camera well, hello, little lady. How are you? Oh, Donetta's on. Hey, Donetta. Hi, Linda. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. I was just saying, I have no idea how this is going to turn out because this I just kind of put this all together. Patty from New York? Yes, but no. Okay, I won't touch it then, so I won't make you be on camera. <laughs> It's been crazy at my house this evening, let me tell you. So I kind of snuck out. My husband's doing some door stuff anyway. So anyway, Donetta, I'm really glad you're on. I'm really glad you're on. Look what I have on, Donetta. <laughs> I'm going to make these one of these days on a tutorial. Hi, Judy. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. And if I don't see you join or something, please forgive me because, again, I've got bifocals and it's hard for me to do all of that. Um, and all I have is my my phone, but um, so I'm on my, my, my data. But next week, I'm supposed to have um, um, internet ran out to my she shed. So I see Eloise is in the shed tonight. Yes, she is. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to have like a computer with a bigger screen so I can read as I go. So anyway, enough about all of that. So we're going to go ahead and get and get going. Um, so this is what I'm doing tonight. Okay, I, I really had no idea, but here we go. All right, here we go. So obviously Easter is over and I have some Easter signs that I really didn't do anything with and I had them kind of left over from Easter. Um, so, um, these are what I'm talking about. They're like, I don't know, two foot, 24 inches, these little Easter bunny signs. And so we have the back that is a, a clean slate, right? So I wanted to do something with my clean slate. So what I did was I took her, well, let me sh I'll show you what I did. And those little feet, they popped right off, but unfortunately they were glued on so, um, and I still have them. So for next year, if I use this again, I will. Oh my gosh, my cousin from Texas is on. Hi, Lisa. Oh my God. Hi, Lisa. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting to me. That's so exciting to me. I'm so glad you're on. So these little feet popped right off and you can see they were glued on and um, I've still got the feet. I'll just glue them on next year if I, if I use this. So I wanted to use the back. It's just plain. So what I did was I used my, I put two coats of Waverly White on. And I'm just about out. Um, but two coats of this. And if you look close, I don't know if you guys can see it or not online. But it is a little bit streaky. But that's okay because you know me. I like to dry brush. So we're going to dry brush this. And what I'm going to do is, I'll just kind of show you what I'm thinking. Um... Hey, hey, hey. Um, you know, I love my crates, right? So um, we're going to put a crate on it. And we're going to do, of course, farmhouse, right? Farmhouse look. All these little things are from um, the Dollar Tree. So I've got some cute little ideas in my head. We're going to make a chalkboard on the bottom of it. And it's going to go in my new kitchen. Well, hey, Vicki. Welcome. Welcome. So glad you joined tonight. Okay, so again... It's just one of these Easter boards from the Dollar Tree. You might even be able to get them half price right now. I popped his little feet off, and of course it ruined the board, um, but I, I can put them back on. Two coats of chalk paint, and I did that this evening or this afternoon, and they're complete, it's completely dry. It does have holes um, for where it was a, a little hanger, but I took, I took the, the little, uh, little hanging part off. All right, so that's what I got. All right, you can use any board if you would choose to, to do this after today, but you can use any board you want to. My foot, mine fell off the feet two weeks after I hung it on the door. 
Wow, really? Because mine were on there pretty good. I had to yank them off. A wooden heart with black chalkboard paint today. Really? <laughs> You're right up my alley, girl. Okay, so here we go. Here's what we're going to do. Again, I've not done this before, so we're just going to, we're going to wing it. So if you guys have ideas as we go, let me know. So I'm going to start with the chalk paint on the bottom because honest to goodness, I have no long, I have no idea how long it even takes to dry. So um, I kind of figured in my own little head, I'm going to put my little shelf right about here, I think. Um, so I'm going to chalkboard the bottom part. Do a little bit of chalkboard on the bottom part. And since I'm awful and I want a little bit of white on the background, I'm going to use some uh, painter's tape and I'm going to go up, I don't know, girls, um, we're going to say, uh, however far up that is, I don't know, nine inches maybe, I don't know, I don't know, see here I go not measuring again, I'm really bad at not measuring stuff, but hey, what do you do, oh and I can already see that I'm a little short on this one, and, and ladies, this task might take me probably close to an hour. I, I hope not. I try not to make them too long, but it could. So just kind of so you guys know. Okay. Anybody else join? I'm sorry. All right. Gosh, Patty, I want to see what you made. Seriously, I'd like to see what you made. So I'm lining this up the best I can. Hopefully I'm doing it pretty, pretty close. Who knows? <laughs> I just want a little bit of a white border around the outside of it. And if I was doing this uh, by myself without all my friends watching, I would probably measure it a little bit better. So we're just going to do some giggles here. All right. So as you can see, I just put um, pa painter's tape around it. And you guys probably didn't see me do that. That was so exciting. <laughs> I'm going to take my um, chalkboard paint. And I picked this up at the Dollar Tree the other day. Just for a dollar. So I've never ever used it. So we're going to give it a shot. All this stuff and not a pair of scissors. Seriously. Oh goodness gracious. I know I've got some scissors because here they are. Here's some scissors. Those are special scissors. Somebody sent those to me. So thank you for my gift. Alright, let's make sure that there's no top. There's not. Nothing holding it. So, alright, here we go. So, I'm just going to put some chalk paint on here, or chalkboard paint on here. And I've never used chalkboard paint before. Uh, so, I don't know if... I'm just going to use a brush because I don't know what I'm supposed to use with chalk paint. Or chalkboard paint. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm really a newbie. I really, really am. Okay, so I've just got a brush, right? Here we go. I don't know if I should... Um, use a pouncer on it maybe I don't know we're gonna use well, I'm just using a brush I just thought it would be a cute idea you know farmhouse is kind of sort of rustic kind of a farmhouse chic uh, chic whatever anyways and uh, I thought it'd be cute to have a little um, chalk board at the bottom right so you could write don't forget to get me flowers or <laughs> hello good morning I love you. You need a kick in the tush. Whatever you might want to put on there. Our house loves dogs. You know, whatever. All right. Has anybody ever used chalkboard? I'll send you. Yeah, please do. Please do. Has anybody ever used chalkboard paint before? I mean, it looks like it's going on pretty good. So now I'm just going to. And this is just one coat. Mm -hmm. We're just going to try one coat. We're just all among friends here. So if I screw up. Y'all won't care too much. I'll laugh with you. All right. Looks okay to me. So while that's drying, um, I could use a blow dryer on it, but I'm not going to. Pick up napkins if you pick up napkins if you see cute ones. Uh, you talking to me? You are a little blurry. Am I still blurry? Oh gosh, I hope I'm not blurry. <laughs> Let me know if I'm blurry. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep on moving and let me know if I'm blurry. Uh, and so now what I want to do, which I probably should have done first, <laughs> is I'm going to um, dry brush it. Right? I'm looking for my black. God gone it. I was so organized earlier. My husband got me disorganized. I'll blame it on him. Right? Some dad gum men. Oh, there it is. And I'm in a squeaky chair. I love this chair and I want to give it up. I love this squeaky chair. So I just, this is just acrylic paint. 
um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I know not everybody digs acrylic paint. I'm sorry, Vicki. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm kind of blurry off and on. Um, I hope we can, I hope you can see me okay. Yes, blurry on my end. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Okay, so this is just acrylic. I'm going to keep on going. This is just acrylic. And I know not everybody likes the acrylic paint from um, the Dollar Tree. Use what you got, right? That's what I always say. This is what I have, and it works perfect for me to dry brush. So I'm going to dry brush the rest of this. And dry brushing is, for those who maybe not know, is you literally just take some paint. I'm just going to squirt it on a napkin over here. I'm just putting it on a napkin, just a tiny bit, because it's not going to take me much. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Um, I use different brushes. This, I don't know. This is the brush that I use. Cause it's wider and for this I think it'll be good and I'm literally just gonna you can kind of see where I've used it before and I'm just used the very tips right so I'm just gonna kind of dip it in just barely barely touch it and then what I do is I just get a napkin and then you're just gonna brush it off on the napkin right okay I'm gonna keep on going Lisa thank you so I'm gonna try to be as straight as I can now again I'm not measuring anything or doing anything so I'm just gonna start hope you guys can see from the top and I'm going to go down to where my little tape is so and you can make it as heavy or as light as you want and I bet you guys can't even see that I only got a couple little streaks there so I'm just dabbing it in my paint dabbing it again to get I don't want to roll real heavy oh, come on now I always start out really scared because I don't want to get too much because I always figure I can put more on right here we go here we go. Now, I also thought about doing, um, um, making it look like oh, uh, shiplap, but I thought this piece kind of looks like shiplap because I was going to put like black lines across it. So I thought, no, nah, this isn't big enough to do that. I've seen people do that before. Uh, I'm just not getting enough on there. Again, I kind of start off a little scary. But I kind of want that that chic looking farmhouse look. I did um, these the other day. I thought they came out really cute. See, that's kind of the look I'm going for. I kind of match this. So there we go. And easel Sandy is watching. Hello, beautiful. Well, hello. I picked up some good fr goods from the Dollar Tree. Good, good, good. You're going to make, oh, one of those arrow shelves. Good, I picked up some more of those arrows. If you guys saw my haul the other day, um, I got more arrows too. So I'm gonna make, oh, I don't have that shelf here. Um, this sweet, sweet couple that owns a store here in the town I live in told me I could put some of my stuff in their store. So that was one of the things that I put on this, in the store. So wasn't that sweet of them? I'm gonna make them something, okay. Hope you guys can see that. Again, you can make it as heavy or as light as you want. Uh, that's what made me run there. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to go just a little, little bit more. Because some of this is going to be covered up. Because I've got some stuff I'm going to put on it. Right? I'm going to put some stuff on it. So it's going to be kind of covered up. Ooh, I got way too much there. I also thought about Mod Podging a napkin on here as well. You could do that. I mean, girls, I had all kinds of stuff everywhere. I had lemon napkins. I had barnwood napkins. I had butterfly napkins. Just trying to decide what I wanted to do. And, of course, I always revert back to this. All right, so I'm going to leave it with that, right? And since you're dry brushing it, it dries really fast, right? So this is pretty much dry, right? Okay, that's what made me run there. Okay, all right. Okay, so my chalk paint, or excuse me, yeah, my chalk <laughs> got napkins everywhere. My chalk paint is still really wet. Uh, or excuse me, chalk board paint. Chalk board paint is still pretty wet. So um, that's okay. It's drying, but it's still pretty wet. Okay, so also, you guys know I love my crates. And I thought about putting a napkin on my crate. Um, I don't know if you guys can see up top. Probably not. I've got some crates that's got napkins on it but I wanted to leave this one blank and I'll show you why I want to do that so I'm going to do a little bit more of the dry brush on this real quick so it kind of matches and I'm only going to just do the one side I'm not going to do it all over I'm just going to do it the one side 
it just kind of gives it a worn look. And something else you can do too is you could dry brush any color. So if you wanted this in your bathroom or your kitchen, um, even outside if you wanted to put it outside or whatever, you could use any color to dry brush if you'd want to. Again, this is going to be covered up quite a bit, but it just kind of gives it a worn look. And that's that's the look that I like. Okay. All right. <laughs> and I've not ever done this before, so we're just doing it all together. So this is kind of what I'm going for. This look here. I think that's pretty cute, right? Pretty cute. Okay. All right. So I think next what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this little guy on. I'm going to put him about where I want him. My chalkboard obviously is at the bottom, right? So we can write on that. So I think what I'm going to do though, ladies, is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this uh, piece of uh, tape. Sorry, I do lose my words sometimes. Sorry, guys. Take the tape off of the top one. And it's sort of even, <laughs> but that's okay because I'm going to be putting this over it so you're not going to be able to see that. See? See, Lisa? Them ferals are pretty smart, right? <laughs> okay, so as a matter of fact, I'm going to take all the tape off. I'm going to take all the tape off because I'm going to I'm going to um, be gluing this little guy on, so I want the tape off. O-M-G. I made a chalkboard. What do you think? I don't know if you guys are still on or not because I don't see anything happening. Um, so, oh, there. Oh, indeed. There you go, Lisa. Indeed. The ferals are smart. That was our main, or my main name. And honeycut. Okay, sorry about that. And honeycuts, but you are a feral. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this little guy um, kind of right at the top of my chalkboard, okay? I'm going to use hot glue. I don't know. It looks really cute. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, I'm going to use hot glue. Um, I hope it works. I don't use E6000. It takes forever for that stuff to dry, so... Um, and you guys know I love my crates. I, I, I must really want to do this project because... Um, I'm using one of my crates. All right, so I'm just hot glue gun, or hot gluing just all over it. it. Ain't gonna matter. It's all gonna be hidden, but I want to put enough on it that it's gonna hold it pretty good. So I'm gonna put a goober mount on on it. And you guys know I always talk about someday I'm gonna get a cordless one of these little suckers. Come on. You know I could probably put E6000 on it. How about wood glue? Oh well. See, Patty, you're the smart one today. Wood glue would probably be the right thing to use. So I'll try next time. That's a great tip. All right, so I just goobered it all over the best I could. And I'm just going to line it up the best I can. And press it down for a minute. And this is still kind of wet. You probably can see it shining. It's still kind of wet. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want the cordless too. And a little bit bigger. I like I like the smaller ones. I'm getting older, so I kind of like the smaller ones. But, yeah, I want a cordless one. And maybe one a little bit bigger than this guy. Someday. <laughs> Patty wins the Smart Award. All right. Check it out. Pretty cute. Put some hot glue on the next thing. Yes, good. Yeah, that's a wonderful tip. That's a wonderful tip. And I have done it before and it does work because mine kept popping off. Okay, and I'm sure it's pretty even because I lined my crate up right at the edge here. So I'm pretty sure it's lined up. Look at that, ladies. Pretty darn cute, right? I think so. For something that just come and come from my head. All right, so, and again, this is going to my kitchen. For those of you who may or might know, uh, my husband and I have saved for a really long time, a really, really long time, and we were able to remodel our, our kitchen. So uh, I'm just tickled pink, and it's um, kind of modern farmhouse, you know, the gray, white. It's just beautiful. So this will be really pretty in my kitchen. So I'm really, really excited and, and praising the good Lord, seriously, that we were able to save money um, to redo our kitchen. It was really in need of it. So really happy for that. Mother's Day is coming. This would be a great little gift. Super adorable. What are you doing with it? I want to hang it in my kitchen, at least to start with, right? Okay, so we're going to keep going. And we have um, we have an acreage. We don't have animals per se, but we do have chickens, so I'm a chicken lover. 
Okay, so you can do a thousand different things. Uh, Y'all make whatever you make, right? Um, you could, like I said, use a napkin. You could do whatever, uh, transfers. I don't have one of those Cricut things, but you can make whatever you'd want to here. So for giggles, um, the other day in my load from the Dollar Tree, I found um, these. Oink. For a buck. You get a frame, you get chicken wire, and you get this cute little pig, and it's all stapled together for a buck. So you can, yeah, write all those hearts. So what I did was that chicken you guys saw, I'll show you in a minute, and a moo for a dollar, and a cluck for a dollar. So all I did was I took the cluck off of this one, and I can still use this for something else, right? How adorable is that? So uh, if you're not into farmhouses, probably isn't adorable to you. And I, and I totally dig that. I, I, I respect that. When not everybody's into the same thing. That's totally fine. <laughs> I just put my brush in my... All right. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next is... So, I took him off of here. Um, he was stapled pretty good, but he pulled off pretty easy. I'm going to put him right there. Along with a... What was that? I thought I saw something on there. Okay. So, I'm going to hot glue gun him right on to the middle here. I was going to use a little, I've got some chalkboard things I was going to put there, but I thought, no, I don't need chalkboard. I've already got that down there. So again, Miss Patty, if I would have been smart, I would have had some uh, um, wood glue. Duh. I can't be beautiful and smart, right? <laughs> we say that at my house all the time. All right, so I'm just going to put some goober glue on him, put some goober glue here, whatever rocks your world there. And I'm going to line his little, little bitty uh, foot down and try to get him the best I can. Oh, my chair's just a creaking. I think I love it because it reminds me of my grandma. And Miss Lisa knows what I mean by that. Oh, hey, Lori, my other cousin is watching. Grandma Farrell's creaky door, so my chair, I don't know. Voila! What do you think? Pretty cute, right? Again, if you're into farmhouse, if you're not, this is probably the dumbest thing you've ever seen. All right. So cute. All right. So the other thing that I found at the Dollar Tree the other day, I'm telling you, girls, my Dollar Tree was loaded. And so I, I picked stuff up. Were these. They're little metal, right? Obviously, little cow. Little rooster. These were all a buck from the Dollar Tree. And I don't, I don't. I don't think I have any pigs. I think I just got a chicken and a rooster. So I thought maybe what I would do is, <laughs> right? How cute is that? Okay, so let's get kind of tall. Let's get back a little bit. Get kind of tall. All right. So I want to put enough room up here. Thanks for all the hearts. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for the hearts. Um, because I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to use this, but for, for tonight, this is what I'm using, right? I'm going to do something like this. So I want to put him high enough up that um, I can put some flowers or um, some vintage milk bottles or, or something. Something like that in there. I love vintage. I love old. So I can't decide though if I want to hang him or if I want to oh, see. That's why y'all need to be here because I need people to, to bounce things off of. I don't know if I want to leave the, the metal on him and hang him. He's kind of cute that way, but you know what? I'm going to leave the metal on him, and I'm going to hot glue him with the metal on him. I don't know what you call it. The, the wire, not metal. The wire. I'm sorry, the wire. And I'm going to hot glue him on there. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. All right, here we go, ladies. And for those of you who are watching tonight that don't normally watch, I am really a newbie, and, and my videos are far from professional. Um, so you kind of get what you get and I'm going to get better. That's all I can tell you. I'm going to get better. There you are. Hey. Oh, hey, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Brandy, Lori and Lisa's my cousin. Brandy's my daughter. Say hi to each other. <laughs> but all these people on here are my friends. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'll take the tag off. Maybe uh, I'll just leave the tag on. Okay. So uh, here we go. I don't know. All right. Oh, here we go. I'm going to goober glue it again the best I can. Got lots of glue on him. And 
I'm going to put him about where I think he needs to go. There's not a right place or wrong place. Hey, when you're making your craft, you make it yourself, right? Yes, the little note bottles. I got one in the house. Um, and I don't think this is going to work because the wire in the back is not letting me press it. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. We'll see. Elsie here might fall off, but we'll see. <laughs> Look at that. Ladies, look at that. You can make this so many different ways, right? You can do so many different things. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. All right, so I got my chalkboard on the bottom that I used my chalk paint, or excuse me, my chalkboard paint, right? I've got, I've got those glue strings. I don't know if you can see them, but that hot glue strings. Then I used a crate, and I just glued him to it with hot glue, and I'll get uh, wood paint or wood glue. Um... <laughs> uh, and then I used my clunk and then I just put my my cowl up there so cute and then I dry brushed this was just white chalk paint and I dry brushed with black acrylic but you don't have to do that or you can use any color you want to I'm kind of doing a black and white thing right now that's pretty dang cute okay all right so then I thought he probably needs a little bow or something right and I'll tell you ladies I really really stink at, at making bows. I mean, like, really, I'm bad. So, but I'm gonna try it because I'm amongst friends here. So, I um, picked out, of course, my burlap because I'm a burlap girl, right? Got burlap. And then I thought I would try a little bit of color. So, I've got this oh so sweet yellow gingham. Isn't that just so cute? And then um, I've got this oh so cute from my friend. Thank you, Linda, because our Dollar Tree still doesn't have this. Um, hair dryer gets rid of hot glue strands. Thank you. Um, but I'm going to use this uh, ribbon, which has got a cow and a pig and a chicken and cluck cluck and farm. So that's really cute. So I'm going to try to put this all together and make a bow. So wish me luck, ladies. All right, here we go. So again, I don't measure really anything. So I'm going to say, uh, where's my scissors first? I swear to goodness, ladies. <laughs> Bingo. All right, so... I don't know, 12, 13 inches there. I don't know. See, I don't want to do this. Hang on, I'm just thinking. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do. It's not really a bow. It's more just putting ribbons on top of each other, because I, I suck. Can I say that I suck at making bows? All right. So I'm gonna take a couple of these. I don't know, however long that is, seven, eight inches, and then I'm gonna take some of this sweet yellow gingham. And I'm not sure I'm going to like the gingham, but I thought I would add a little bit of color. Oh, I'm, I'm back. Was I gone? Sorry, guys. Alice! Alice from San Antonio! Alice is one of our dearest, dearest, dearest friends. So, welcome, Alice. Hey, Veronica. Hang on just a second, ladies, and I will show you what we've been making tonight. And since I really stink at making bows, I'm just kind of... I don't know. I just do stuff by the seat of my pants sometimes, so I'm kind of doing something by the seat of my pants right now. Try to make a ribbon, kind of a ribbon bow. And I don't know for sure I'm going to really like it too much, but we're going to give it a shot. All right. Okay. So, for those just joining, what we just did was I took an Easter sign from the Dollar Tree, and on the back side is plain. I put two coats of white chalk paint on it. Let that dry completely. Then I put um, white, or white, oh my God, black chalkboard paint on the bottom to make a chalkboard. Then I used one of my absolute favorite things in the world, these crates, and um, glued it, hot glued it to this, and with a tip from Patty to use wood glue. <laughs> um, and then I dry brushed it with black acrylic paint, and then I glued on a couple of fun little things there. So I'm making this little farmhouse looking thing that I hang in my kitchen. Now, I stink at making bows. So I've cut six pieces and I've got paint all over my fingers. So I'm gonna wipe it on my pants like your mama told you not to do. That's what I'm gonna do. So I just cut six pieces out and then I'm gonna take a piece of, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, uh, no. I wanna take another piece of this. I'm sorry. I'm really not so disorganized. I'm just trying to do things sort of kind of fast so you guys are on. 
I've seen your messy bows and they are adorable. Oh, thank you, Linda. That's exactly what, okay, messy bow. That's what I'm making, a messy bow. Thank you, that's a, that's a good word. All right, so I've just got them all stacked on top of each other. That's kind of hard to see. And I'm just gonna wrap this one around it, okay? So I'm just gonna tie this one around it and make a messy bow. Just got them all stacked on top of each other. And I take another one and you're gonna tie it really tight. If you don't tie it tight, you're not going to be able to, to manipulate the, the ribbon. So, I have to sneeze. Kind of looks like a tamale or something off, but you want to tie it tight. And I'm going to put another, go around one more time. And make a knot. Alright, so I got her pretty tight there. And then what I do is either you just take them, right, and you just pull them apart. And if you have, see, I'm not sure I'm going to like this a lot because the burlap has wire in it and it's, it, it stays wherever you put it. The gingham has a little bit of wire, but not a whole lot. And the black one has no wire in it. So it just kind of flip flops around. Okay. But you kind of get the point, right? It's still pretty cute, right? I'm here better late than Heather. Hey, Heather. Hey, you bet it is, girl. And I'll go over everything that we just did here in just a minute. All right. So here's my little bow. All right, so I'm just going to attach it to the top with my glue gun. All right. And again, I don't know where, just wherever you want to put it. Oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. Just wherever you want to put it. And I put a pretty good goober amount. A goober amount, about a dime, I guess. The size of a dime. Now, a dime might mean something to different to other people. But, all right. And then you want to hold it down for just a minute. And um, I can, I crisscross my bows. Yep, yep, that's a good idea to Patty. Patty's got all kinds of great ideas tonight. All right. Now, I usually if I was messing with hot glue, I would use one of my little rubber fingers. Um, but since I'm not really getting close to it, um, it's okay. All right. Scoot back here a little bit. That's coming out really cute. Oh, thank you, Heather, for loving my hat. This is Eloise. And one of these nights, I'm going to show you guys. I made this. I'm so, I wear her everywhere. I love her. All right. There she is. Okay, so you could stand her in a corner, uh, but I'm going to hang her. So I've got uh, my rope, right, again, from the Dollar Tree. And this is just a piece of rope from something left over. And I'm going to show you, ladies, something that I do that, uh, Maybe I'm crazy. Well, we all know about that. Hang on one second. I gotta, if I can find, hang on one second, guys. Okay. Oh, shoot. I think I just knocked something over. Okay, so, so, if you can see this, it's got like little, I don't know, scragglies on there. And I can't find my other one that's already open. So, I burned those off. Okay, so... Um, and I'll show you how to do it. Now, I, I would not recommend this. Um, I mean, it's fire. So I want you to be really careful if you do do this. Um, and just, just really be careful. But this is how maybe other people do it other ways. I don't know, but this is how I do it. But before I do that, I'm going to measure. And I'm going to, I don't know. We'll go about, yay. Okay. And I'm going to glue it on the back, on top of my Easter bunny on the back. So I just take my scissors and I'm going to cut him off. Maybe. There we go. All right. So again, this is what I do. I, okay, this is just what I do. But I don't like the little extra scragglies along here. Some people like that. That's totally fine. But I just, just kind of do that. See, and it just barely, it doesn't really create a fire, but it just whisks those right away. See? Now they're all gone. Now that's a tip, but seriously, you're, you're messing with fire. So please, please be very careful. All right, and I've got water over here. Okay, so my wispies are gone. That's it. So just, I just want you guys to be careful if you do that. <laughs> okay, oh thanks, you had the pop of color. I thought about red, I went with yellow. All right, so now I'm just going to glue this onto the back. 
using my little glue gun. But before I do that, I need another glue stick. And I'm going to do what I think it was Patty said. So you just take your glue stick and you put glue on it. Right? Just a little dab of glue. A little dab will do you. And then when you put it in there, it melts it right to it. Yikes! I don't want to do that. Hang on. I just pushed glue out. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. My chalkboard paint is still a little bit wet, so I want to be really careful that I don't scrape that or anything. So I hope you guys can see that okay. Alright, so I'm just literally just going to put some glue on it and glue him down. And now, since I don't have my finger, remember I bought these at the Dollar Tree. Um, and they're fantastic. They're made out of, I think they're silicone. And they're for a buck. But you can use it when you're messing with uh, glue, hot glue, and not burn your fingers. Okay. Like glue guns, like, you're working me too hard, lady. All right. So we'll let that set for just a second. We're about done. Oh my gosh, Becky and fire. Yeah, I know, right, Linda? <laughs> Get 911 ready. I got my bottle of water here. I got water, water over there. <laughs> oh, thanks, Heather. This is just something I just come up with. All right, so I've glue gunned him to the back. And if you're, I guess I could pop his little googly eyes off too. Um, you could paint the back if you would want to. I don't know. Okay, so here we are. Here's my craft. Our, here's our craft. We did this together, okay? So, the how cutie came out. And I'm really going to put this in my kitchen. Okay, so um, the other thing is, um, this isn't real deep, but it's, it's deep enough. So, I used some of this, uh, what do you even call this stuff? I don't know. You know, uh, you put plants in it. I don't know what you call it. Foam something. Floral foam. Floral foam. So, I cut off a little piece of it to set it in here just so you can kind of see what it would look like. And again, I don't know this is exactly what I'm going to to um, to do with it, but um, this is just a little tin can that I made out of a flower from our flower swap group that I'm in, right? And I've got some tutorials on these on my YouTube channel or even on this on my uh, Sweet Tea Shed um, on how to do those. One of my favorite things. But look how adorable that is. Voila! Right? Okay, so. This is all I did, ladies. Once again, for those that might just join, I used the Easter Bunny, right? Thanks for all the love. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. Seriously, this is so cool. Um, two coats of, I used white chalk paint. You could use any color that you'd want to, but I used chalk paint for everything. Uh, first time ever, I did a chalk, a chalk board using chalk board paint from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I wanted to leave white around the border, so I used my my painter's tape and just taped it off um, and did that. Then I used one of my sweet crates, and I had already, this has got two, co maybe maybe one coat of chalk paint, but I, I already had this one. I've got a lot of these already made um, or painted, so this has got one coat of chalk paint, and then I got this sweet little cluck, 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 right, off of this from the Dollar Tree. Oh, there's a buck. Oh, you know what? I did not get this from the Dollar Tree. Dollar General. I got these from Dollar General for a buck. So Dollar General is starting to carry stuff. So I popped off the chicken. Um, and so that left me this sweet frame. So I still can do other crafts. So anyway, so then I hot glued him on there. I also um, dry brushed black. You could do any color or don't do it at all. And then I also got this little guy, again, from Dollar General, not Dollar Tree. Dollar General. Um, and then the bow, who knows? I got ribbon from, from other places, but Miss Linda sent me this sweet because our Dollar Tree doesn't have this sweet cluck cluck chicken pretty bow. So, uh, and the rope. So I put rope on the top and hot glue. And that was it. How cute did that turn out? And again, you can put whatever you want to in there, right? And once this dries, um, the Dollar Tree uh, and my daughter gave me some, but the Dollar Tree also has um, a chalk chalk um, pins um, to write something on there if you would want to or leave it blank whatever so anyways that's it can I send a picture of the heart I did 
to your sweet tea page? Heavens, yes. I would love for you guys to please send post pictures on the sweet tea shed. I would love to see those things. So please do. Please do. All right. So I know I didn't see everything that was being written down, but I will go back and I will rewatch this and I will respond uh, if I didn't talk to you during the show. Um, but I just can't thank you guys enough for being on. Um, I can't believe, I think this is adorable. And honestly, at 430, I still had no idea what I was going to do. Seriously. So anyways, uh, you're welcome. Thank you, Patty. Goodness, thank you. So anyway, that's it. That's my little craft that we did tonight. How cute is that? Use your imagination. Make it what you want. Not everybody's farmhouse crazy like I am. But hey, I think it turned out really cute. So I'm really excited to show my husband. I think he'll think it's pretty cute too. So you guys take care. Oh, and one other question. I watch these videos and they talk about sprinkling. I don't know what sprinkle is. Is sprinkling means sharing? I don't know what that means, but I don't know what sprinkle means. So somebody tell me that. Okay, project done less than 30 minutes. Thank you, that's right, Lisa. And that was me jabbering and being goofy too. So um, anyways, thank you, Heather. That was very, very kind of you to say that. So I just think it came out really, really cute. Please, if you guys make something like this or Again, post it. I don't care. Post it. So, you guys take care. I won't take any more of your time. I'm going to try my best to start coming live more, but we've just been really busy um, with things at our house and stuff, but I'm going to try doing more things live. And please share my page. I hate to do that plugging thing, but please do. I'm really trying to make a go at this. So I really, really appreciate it. So, Linda, thank you for the love. Um, Patty, you have a wonderful evening as well. And um, thanks again from Becky at the Sweet Tea Shed. I just think he's so cute. Okay. Yes, take care. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>